This video tutorial will assist Wash Bay attendants in understanding the procedures set in place by Prime Incorporated, which will ensure a pleasant experience for our drivers and a safe work environment for our attendants. When a driver arrives at our doors for a truck wash, a driver should be aware of the status of the bay, with either a green light which indicates an open bay or a red light which indicates occupied. The lights are above the bay doors on the outside entrance. You'll want to greet the driver and let them know their wash options. They have three options, tractor only, trailer only, or tractor and trailer combination. If a trailer is being washed, it will include a washout. If a driver comes in with highly polished aluminum, they won't want an acid wash on their aluminum. Make sure and become familiar with the wash entry keypad options. There's a button that will say acid off. Make sure and push that button for those drivers that want to protect their highly polished aluminum. Have the driver pull the truck into the base slowly. When they pull in far enough, they'll get a red light. If the driver accidentally goes too far, a yellow light will come on and the driver will need to go in reverse until the red light comes back on. Once in position, the driver will set their air brakes and the attendant will take over. For safety reasons, the driver is to stay in the truck during the wash. The attendant will want to do a pre-soak, applying Alumabrite on all the chrome parts of the truck and trailer, including wheels, steps, and grill. Once the aluminum has been treated, immediately wash it off with a high-pressure wand and make sure and wash the mud flaps as well. At this point, the wash bay attendant will enter the driver's employee ID number, then it will ask what type of wash you want. Then enter the vehicle number. Once you hit enter, a start button will appear. Once you hit start, the wash will begin. A seven second movement horn, which will start beeping, will give the attendant enough time to get out of the way of the gantry. Make sure and get out of the way and let the gantry start the wash. The gantry works off smart brush technology. It feels the surface of the vehicle and knows when to move forward with the top brush and side brushes. The brushes will know how deep they need to be on the vehicle. The attendant should fold in the side mirrors and driver's mirrors to ensure full brush coverage. Some trucks' driver's mirrors are more difficult to fold in and may require being left in place. The gantry will make four passes with each pass performing a different function. While it's passing across the vehicle, the attendant should be using a brush to work on trouble spots, such as wheels, tires, mud flaps, grill, and windshield. Make sure to know where the gantry is at all times to avoid any type of contact that can cause an injury. The trailer is similar in preparation. The pre-soak still applies to the trailer. Trailers come with tail wings and without tail wings. Without tail wings, you can brush the back door. If the trailer has tail wings, the attendant will select back door concentrate and will not use the gantry brush. You might have to do a manual brush depending on how dirty the trailer is. When doing a trailer washout, start at the front end of the trailer and wash it towards the back and out the door. After the final wash pass has been completed, make sure the driver waits for your signal before exiting the bay. Give the grill one more power washing to make sure it's nice and clean. Then if everything looks nice and clean, give the driver the green light to leave the bay. You should be able to do a complete detail wash with truck and trailer within 10 minutes. Most times there will be just one attendant, but if there are open bays and available attendants, come over and assist. Keep in mind that there are three things to consider. Wash time, wash quality, and wash costs. 